So yesterday, this happened. See that? That's called a dead tablet. That tablet, that was my cell phone. I, I know it's big, but um, it had all my contacts in it. It had everything in it. It had my whole life in it. And it's still in there. And I can't get to it. But because of the generosity and the thoughtfulness, the crazy goodness of God, you guys have provided for Mission Roma in a way that I was able to get a new cell phone really, really quick. Um, it's something that I really like. It's a, a, a nice device. It's got a, a, a lot of fun features, but um, I don't have any of your contacts. I don't have your phone number. So if you had my phone number in your phone, could you call me so I can have your contact again? Thank you. And thank God for the generous, loving, considerate support that you guys give. It's incredible. I'm overwhelmed and blessed at your generosity. God loves you very much. I love you very much. And I'm really, really, really happy to be your missionary, your ambassador here in Rome on behalf of Jesus Christ. Thank you. This is the current condition of the garden here on my terrace. So now it's time to transform the terrace into a beautiful garden. These are what I just bought. And this is the garden now. All in bloom. Just in time for Easter. And just have come forward saying that we would like to join Rome Baptist Church. Briefly, briefly, just share your testimony. I also was raised in a Christian home. Um, I had the opportunity to know God and to know God's Word. And, um, you know, it's not a coincidence that we heard about Christ offered him that friendship um, when I was literally driving home from the bartending job and not the coffee bar kind of bartending, the cocktail kind of bartending job um, that I worked all night. It was uh, an Easter Sunday morning on uh, December, uh, on, uh, uh, I can't even think in English, <laughs> 1995. Um, Newspaper and the graphics on the top of that newspaper made me realize that the entire world was worshiping Jesus Christ, and I was not. God literally came into the car I was driving and invited me into a personal relationship with Him because I was raised in a Christian family. Because I knew that the 15 years of addiction, demoralization, separation from my family, as well as separation from God. I ask God to forgive me of my sins, to fill me with the power of the Holy Spirit. And God met me that day. It was interesting because I knew that because of the sin in my life, I needed the purification of water baptism. So I reached out to a pastor and said, hey, would you re-baptize me now as an adult, knowing that I needed forgiveness of sin? And he said... As long as you're fellowshipping with other Christians, and I knew what that meant. That meant that I had to come to church. But I was so afraid that they would ask me, where have you been for all of these years? That I didn't want to go back to church. You know what? They never asked me that question. Not even to this day here in this fellowship. They've never asked me. Hey, where have you been? What have you been doing? The point is really clear. Jesus loves us very much. And exactly where we're at. And the Holy Spirit will allow us to grow as fast and quick as we want to, or as slow and paced as we want to. I didn't realize until I was taking the discovery class. I have dyslexia, that I knew. But I didn't realize that I was born in 1959 on August 20th. 
I was born again and water baptized on August 20th, 1995. God can change Zacchaeus. Eleven years ago, Chuck Chilano and I came here to this very street for this very event to present the Gospel of John to hundreds, literally hundreds of people. Tonight, I had the opportunity to not only give this Gospel to a young man named Christian, named Christian, but I had the opportunity to share with him the story that changed my life, the Gospel of John. That's what changed my life. 22 years ago, I was a drug addict, had a lot of very serious problems. God's Word is real.